Are you let Diane do it for you? Go ahead. Oh, Nick, come on. The Charter Master wanted to try his hand at gaffing a flathead. Nice pig. Colorado, San Jose style. Hey, Britt. What's up, buddy? Nice. Nice. Yes, sir. Good morning, my dear friends, and welcome to beautiful Surfside, California. Very breezy here this morning. It kind of have abated the winds. There were some really fierce winds over the nighttime. And just offshore, you can see Catalina Island silhouetted back there in the background. There's 25 knots of breeze out in that area, up in the Channel Islands, Ventura, Oxnard area. It's very windy. We've got a lot of wind to deal with. And the seas are coming up. It's offshore, as you can see. When you see those waves start to curl, you see that mist, you can tell it's offshore, just like you see right there. We've still got a lot to cover with you. There's some exceptional long-range fishing going on. We're going to jump into that with you right now. Also, we want to talk to you about the possibilities of fishing here in Southern California. We'll go south of the border and, of course, talk Cabo San Lucas where that crazy Sean Morgan on the Wild Insect has been checking in. Nice, big, fat, flathead down there for him. And, of course, we'll cover the lobster and the surf fishing and everything else. You know what time it is. It's time for the Thursday morning morning briefing. Good morning, my friends. Oh, God, that coffee is so good. It's actually a beautiful morning here in Surfside, California. For those of you who are not familiar with the geography, Seal Beach is just right down that way, like a 10-minute walk. And this way is Huntington Beach, California. Gorgeous morning. And uh, it's not that bad, actually, down here. Not like the other day when it was very, very breezy. I don't need the elf to hold the camera today. Hey, remember, if you could do me a favor, please, and hit that like button right now. It really helps us a lot as it gusts up to about 15 right now. Uh, also, if you share these videos, that would be fantastic. If you tick the bell, you'll be notified when there's new content. And of course, subscribe right now to the Friedman Adventures YouTube channel. We'll be taking you through a great 2024 with great shows. Tonight, the Danny Cadota Show, live from 22nd Street Landing in beautiful San Pedro, California. Don't miss that. That should be a 5 o'clock start this evening. That's what we're shooting for anyway. 5 p.m. from 22nd Street, Danny Cadota, one of the most knowledgeable captains you'll ever meet. Don't forget, you can follow us on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, TikTok, on Instagram and Facebook every single day. We are there for you. The wind is starting to come up again, and it has been a problem here for sure in SoCal. Many boats are not even going to get out today, especially up there in the northern sector where it has been really, really nasty. Hey, Buzz Brizendine, man, on a hunting trip. Check him out. Great friend of mine. Haven't seen him for a long, long time. Way too many years, but Buzz and I probably did 562,000 interviews together over the years. And I just wanted to show you a photo of my dear friend Buzz Brizendine, who ran the Prowler and several other boats for so many years. Stays active and looks great. Buzz, that's great. And how about Jill and Jonathan Roldan? So many of you around the world, and we have people listening to us in Russia, in Costa Rica, in Mexico, all throughout the United States, heavily here in SoCal. But so many of you have gone to La Paz in Baja, California, and fished with Jonathan and Jill Roldan with Tail Hunter Sport Fishing. Highly recommend you do that. They also have a great restaurant on the Malecon that you are going to enjoy. But they were at a black tie event, and they are looking sharp. Hey, you guys, that is a great photo. Really looking good. And they are going to be at the Dallas Convention Center. There's an outdoor show going on Thursday through Saturday, I believe. They'll be at the Dallas Convention Center. Any of our folks who are there in Dallas, go over and say hi to Jill and Jonathan. For me, I would really appreciate it. All right, and one other reminder, we still have those orcas bouncing around here in Southern California. Killer whales have been seen on a fairly regular basis from San Diego up to Point Furman. Never quite sure where they're going to be, but they are munching out 
on the Delphinus, the dolphin here. And every once in a while, they'll attack a gray whale. The gray whales now are on their southern migration, headed from the Bering Sea down to the warm water lagoons of Baja, California. So a great time to get out and see that. And on a fishing trip, you might very well run into that kind of a thing. Also, Vince Riera, he was down in Guatemala for a couple of days. Vince said, I caught so many sailfish, I lost count. Way too many sailfish, so great to see that. And they also had some fairly decent Dorado fishing in Guatemala. That is an experience I have yet to experience, so I would love to go down there and give that a try. No question about it. All right, Sean Morgan down in Cabo San Lucas was out and had a couple of nice flatheads yesterday. Dorado, uh, there's some yellowfin tuna around. There's still some striped marlin around. Cabo's been pretty good here recently in a trip. On the Wildland Sack with Sean Morgan is one you'll remember for the rest of your life. Not only a really great fisherman, but one heck of an entertainer. And you'll get a little bit of that on the boat and in the after party. Sean is always open to going out and celebrating at the end of a trip. So pretty good fishing down there in that neck of the woods. We also are seeing pretty good yellowtail fishing in Loreto in San Quentin, which is 140 miles down below the border here. We see some occasional yellowtail bites and good rock fishing, occasional nice halibut. Ensenada area, big bonito, some really good calico bass fishing. If you'd like to focus in on that, especially around that pristine and rocky and rugged Baja coast there, Punta Banda, that is such a great area to fish and the calicos have been nibbling there. Plenty of rockfish occasional yellowtail there. All right, let's talk long range because it is pretty good as the waves are surrounding me now and I'm locked in here with these big pipes here. Um, anyway, <laughs> I digress. Really good kite fishing on board the Royal Polaris yesterday. They had a lot of sinker rig fish and jigs were getting bit also on big yellowfin tuna. They focused their entire day on YFT and you are seeing some of those fish right now. Also down there, the Red Rooster 3 with a nice shot of yellowfin and some nice wahoo. The long range scene has been great. And the Independence, the boat that we'll be on April 4th through the 9th, a five day trip out of Poiloma that has bluefin written all over it, as well as perhaps sea bass and halibut, so much more. Anyway, Independence got there and got busy with some YAFT also, nice big yellowfin. A lot of that 50 to 80 pound stuff, some up over 100. We've even seen some 200 pounders down there. And I had to show you the spread, the seafood spread on board the Intrepid. Wow, that makes me hungry, man. I'm heading to Mexico here really, really soon. And I got to tell you, water's surrounding me here. Um, I can't wait to get down to Mexico after seeing that. But man, can you, I mean, that, talk about five star dining, that looks great. On board the Intrepid, no question about that. All right, let's get up here to SoCal. Remember, rockfish season is closed there, so you're not allowed to fish rockfish. You can go to San Diego and make a left-hand turn and go down into Mexican waters. It's open there. But in terms of fishing rockfish here, you don't have that as an alternative. However, there's been some good halibut fishing. There's a lot of sculpin. There's calico bass. There's sand bass. It's been pretty darn good and Nick Ramirez, leave it to Nick, great guy. Nick, good morning to you. Thanks for being a member of the Friedman Adventures family. He was on board the Spitfire. He had a limit of calico and sand bass combined. I think it was two calicos, three sand bass, and a limit of sculpin Spitfire sport fishing. Marina Del Rey, Nick's on there all the time. So that tells me that is a great operation. No question about it. Really nice fishing. And we see that kind of bass fishing on board the Monte Carlo out of 22nd Street Landing in San Pedro, California. San Pedro, for those of you who want the pronunciation like that, that has been really, really good there. Walt doing a great job running the boat. Stephen Conradi and Brian Burrell on deck. And man, I'll tell you, pick their brain, Brian and Stephen, about what kind of rig to use and how to fish it and they'll get you tuned up in a hurry. I'll tell you that right now. So some really good bass fishing. And there's a myriad of other landings doing the same thing. So keep that in mind, my friends. Really excellent bass fishing here. Fluorocarbon, 25 to 40. You know, sometimes you're fishing a lead head. Some other times you're fishing a two ounce sliding egg sinker. I like a big hook, like a 5-0. You can drop down if you have to, but a big hook with a live squid or a fresh dead squid 
fishing on structure like a shipwreck or a rock or something like that. And man, oh man, it's fun fishing. And you had better start pulling in a hurry when you get a bite because I'm telling you right now, those fish know how to run you right back into that structure. So you've got to start turning the handle and pulling hard on those fish. Really, really excellent action going on. We continue to see really good lobster fishing way too windy. Don't want to see any of you out there risking your neck in conditions like this. But after today, really our weather goes back to a really nice let, no wind and beautiful weather, so it's going to get very, very nice here in SoCal again. So really good lobster crawl going on for the ProMarahi.com fishing update, or lobster update, I should say. Catalina Island's been stellar this year, but also we've seen some good lobster hoop netting on the local scene also. You know, I've seen actually in this crazy weather here, you saw those pelicans just go by? Uh-oh. I got to get out of here. Uh, those pelicans just went by. Uh, I've seen birds picking in this surf, so there's some bait in here again today. We'll keep our eyes on that because you know what that means. The surf fishing bite should be coming together here very, very soon uh, after this weather goes through. Um, once again, we've seen some spot fin croaker. Not a lot, but a little bit. Some yellow fin croaker here. We've also seen some late season corvina, but mostly barred perch. And speaking of barred perch, south of the border, that continues to be really, really great fishing south of the border. Really great fishing going on on the bar perch. A uh, guy by the name of Jose Martinez with a nice bar perch. And then another angler uh, had some really excellent fishing also. I got to get out of the way here, my friends. Let me move for this gentleman. Let's go right up here. We should be good. All right, these guys are doing the sand replenishment here in Seal Beach, California. I think I'm still on camera there. I look like I am, unfortunately for you. Um, so once again, uh, good bar perch fishing south of the border and up here. Uh, really good down there around Ensenada and down there around San Quintin and Punta Colinet. Areas of the Baja Coast that provide really great fishing. But Jeremy Fontenot, Fontenot, no, sorry, Jeremy. A uh, really nice bar perch there for Jeremy, who happens to be a great guy and a great man who's donated, or not donated, but given his time and service to protect our country. Thank you for your service, Jeremy, and nice fish there. No question about that. Uh, don't forget, you can get all your tackle needs down at Big Fish Bait and Tackle, the beautiful city of Seal Beach, California. Tractors and all kinds of stuff heading this way now. I might have to get out of here. Um, uh, Seal Beach, California, where they've got your worms and your sand crabs and, oh, they don't have sand crabs, but they've got mussel and they've also got everything you'll need for a great surf fishing opportunity. I will tell you that right now. And once again, we continue to uh, see mostly a bait bite right now. This is just, you know, it's unfishable for the surf fishing here today, but it's going to go back to really nice and bait is a great way for you to catch fish. I'll guarantee you that right now let me move up a little bit further here and get out of the way of these guys that are coming through i think i'm out of the way here so once again um some really good surf fishing action south of the border and a little bit of that going on here also hey good morning you guys sorry for being in the way all right take care all right we'll let these guys go by and test our microphones to see if you can still hear me as the tractors go by and the sand replenishment takes place. These guys all know me now. They see me out here every morning. Surf fishing, pretty darn good. Richard Cayo down around the Huntington Beach Fair has been doing pretty good here recently. And we continue to see that kind of action going on. All right, my friends, a little crazy down here this morning. Not that bad, a uh, little bit windy. The surf is starting to really kick up here and it's starting to surround me. So I think I'm getting out of here in the nick of time. Uh, weather's going to calm down in SoCal from here on out. Tomorrow should be a lovely day. This should all calm down here. It's a great time to go whale watching. There's still great fishing opportunities. Don't forget January the 21st. We'll be over at La Fogata Restaurant from 1 to 3 in the afternoon in Sherman Oaks, California. And you are invited. Just come on over. Have some great Mexican cuisine. Sit around. We'll chat about fishing. I'll have our charter list for 2024. You can ask me any question you like within reason, and uh, 
I can tune you up or sign you up or get you all set up on uh, one of our charters. And also, there's just so many great people there. We'll be able to tell you some great tales. Greg Bates and I, the elf, are headed to Mexico this weekend. And we are taking a lot of the goods that you have donated down there. So we'll be in Mexico Lindo. I should have some content for you from Mexico here in the very near future. And, of course, we can talk about that on January the 21st. That should be good. And don't forget, April the 4th through the 9th, we're on board the Independence five-day trip. It's going to be a great one. Give the Independence office a call today. There it is, right there for you. Or visit their website. You can ask them any question you like. They'll tune you up. It's such a great experience. You are going to love it. And I will be there to make sure you have a really good time, along with Greg Bates, along with Scott Butcher. Got your name right, Scott, and a lot of other really beautiful people. All right, my friends, have a great day today. I think I made it. I didn't get hit by a tractor. The waves haven't come up here and swamped me quite yet. I'm out of here before uh, something like that happens. Take care, and as always, I hope to see you really, really soon. <laughs>